Many years ago in Zambia, education of girls was done in Fiwanse. Fiwanse where schools where girls were given knowledge about life, survival skills, values, and mainly on how to take care of a home. Girls never had an opportunity to learn through educational classes, same as boys. But due to gender learning assurance and re-entry policy, girls are free to take part and learn, same as boys. Let's hear more from Elena from one of the schools in Kanyama on why it's important to educate a girl child. We are educated in order to make our futures right and also to prevent future women from becoming illiterate. I don't think marriage can be a final decision for a girl child because marriage comes in with responsibility and better responsibility is through education. So a girl child has to be educated. What are teachers doing to secure girl child education? Let's hear more from what one of the teachers has to say. A girl child is weak as compared to a man. A girl child is a mother of a nation if educated. So it is important that a girl child gets education. As a teacher, uh, the government has already put in place a policy of re-entry. That is, to a girl that is affected may be become pregnant during school. That child has got the right to come back. But when coming back, that child needs to be counseled so that she accepts the level or the stage where she is so that learning can take place. Not only with the learner and a teacher, Let's hear more from parents on why they think it's important to educate a girl child. It is important because uh, she is going to help uh, the man who will marry her in their life. That people actually, to me, they are ignorant because women are very important. They will help the husband when they get married, the parents. Therefore, girls deserve a good foundation of education and the residents of Kanyama feels parents should educate their children rather than marrying them off. Reporting for Mama Sosa, I'm Grace Soko in Kanyama.